Hello everybody, so this is Unit 4's response um, to our, for our video response and um, the question is how does your faith, beliefs, and values provide you with discernment and direction when you experience unethical, unjust, and inappropriate situations in physical education and sport? So just to answer that question, it takes a lot of patience and um, discipline to respond um, in the most effective ways, even when you're faced with adversity and even when you're faced with, um, you know, these type of unethical challenges and unjust um, actions against you. Um, as far as um, how this relates to physical education and in sport and an experience that I've had, um, I've had several, unfortunately, um, both while I was an assistant uh, women's basketball coach as well as um, while I'm in my role right now. So if I'm talking about right now, um, I work with the athletes and they are required to do a certain amount of um, activities that grants them priority registration for our, our program. And priority registration is a huge deal because you know, we have students that need classes, and these classes only fit particular schedules for them because of practice or, or so forth. So pretty much all semester or a, a different, uh, um, how can I say it, there is a deadline for them to complete certain activities in order to receive their priority registration. So I've had instances where um, coaches wanted me to just basically bypass um, the system and allow their athletes to receive priority registration. Um, I've had coaches, you know, get upset and tell me that I'm not, you know, doing what's best for the program um, and things like that or the athlete and, you know, just staying um, staying grounded and sticking um, to my beliefs and obviously sticking to the morality and the integrity of the program. You know, I've had those conversations with the coaches as far as um, what bad example um, we would be portraying to athletes um, if they don't complete certain activities and yet they still receive a reward and how that looks bad for those athletes that, you know, got it in on time or did all that they needed to do in order to uh, comply. So I've definitely had those conversations and I always pray before I go into something that is confrontational just because it gives me a more clear and um, level headed um spirit. And then as far as um, things about coaching and, um, you know, things obviously get heated, even within programs, um, gossip and things like that, that's that's very relevant. And it's not so far-fetched or high school. I mean, I, as I'm seeing, gossip is in every walk of life. And even within that, you want to be careful not to get tied up or involved in that. And a scripture that I definitely um, love to always relate is um, James uh, chapter 4 verse 11 through, t uh, through 12. So brothers do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against his brother or judges him speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law you are not keeping it but sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge the one who is able to save and destroy but you or are you to judge your neighbor? So basically, um, no judging. I mean, gossip happens, but the best um, the best answer is silence um, or walk away just because you don't want to be involved in that. And then sometimes you just have to also stand up and not be afraid to say something, especially if things are getting out of control or out of hand. Like we are, you know, advocates for um the humanity pretty much and if we're going by God's biblical principles and we're going about leading um, by example I would definitely would want someone to you know stand up for me in certain situations or um, you know just silence the situation or ask them to remove themselves especially if you're in the presence so that's pretty much my response and I look forward to um, watching everyone else's thanks bye